Hey guys, Volkman86 here, and today I'm going to do three quick comic book unboxings. Uh, as you can see, I already prepped the first one. It was actually pretty sticky, so let's see what's inside. And I already know what I I have a good idea what these three packages are. I believe the first two are actually the same comic, but I'll I'll show you why I bought two of them. It's always nice when they give you a thank you. Always be careful when you're opening up packages. I'm actually grabbing my blade just by its little point so I don't exert too much force. I should be cutting downwards instead of towards my other hand. Avengers number 158. And there's actually good reason why I bought this one and the other one. Mainly because on Friday, Marvel gave a hint onto their Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show for episode number three. Which is weird, why would you do it for episode number three? But in episode number three, there's going to be a character named Dr. Franklin Hall. And in the Avengers comics, Dr. Franklin Hall... He's actually uh, Graviton, and this is his first appearance in Avengers num 158. These I bought for like five bucks. Like once when I heard the news about it, I bought these on eBay for uh, five dollars for one and six dollars for the other. One was a parent uh, 9.0 graded, very fine plus plus. And the other one is uh, a very fine, so it's like an 8.5, hopefully. And I thought the price was good for what could be something big. This is just speculation, of course. Uh, he is, Dr. Franklin Hall will be in the Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show, but what role he will play, or if he would even be Graviton in that series, is up for debate and speculation of course but I took my chance and I bought these two off eBay and when I actually looked on eBay these were one of the few left in high condition I'm not sure if there were any more if p other people have already bought them out but this is what I had left over I think I did a, a good deal on these little bent corner there but for five bucks who can complain about the condition of this I know I'm not complaining especially if this actually turns out to be something big I I do love the cover though anything with Vision and Scarlet Witch is always awesome in my opinion I'll just take a quick flip through the book for you guys Red Sonia, Howard the Duck t-shirt, uh, that's awesome. Red Sonia t-shirt. 
I love looking at all these ads. As you can see, that's Graviton right there. I'll go ahead and move this aside. I believe this is also the same book right here. I prefer these thicker cardboards because then you can actually not worry about hitting the comic on the inside. On the other cardboard I had to cut on the tape going inside. You always risk about sliding it too far and ripping your comic. So keep that in mind when you mail comics to people. Try to make it easy for them to open but at the same time very secure. Another same copy. You want your blade sharp when you open the tape. You don't want with dull blades the it gets stuck to the tape and you have to exert extra force to need it and that could also make you slip. So use a good blade when you take off tape and always be careful not to cut yourself or the comic but most, more importantly yourself. This comic looks a nicer shape, minus this color, this coloration right there. Uh, I guess it leaked in from that part right there. You can you can see it; it's turning a little redder. But the actual spine and corners on this book definitely looks better than the other book. But the color is much more vibrant on this one, as you can see. Show you quick plants of them. You can definitely see the spine indentations in that one. Ah yes, the back on this one, you can see, always inspect the backs of your comics when grading. You can see this one is a little more, uh, like more peeled back. So this one would probably be the 8.5 if I were just to go off by the seller's descriptions. I really, I love the I appeal, I love the eye appeal on this book right here. Uh, much more vibrant colors, but this appears to be in better condition, minus the color bleeding, as you can see compared to that one. But overall, I'm very happy with both of these issues. 
they're both in great condition for what I paid for. Go ahead and put these aside. Now obviously you can't grade a comic just with the, a quick skim. You actually need to put them under a good light source and look at it carefully. Look at the insides, uh, make sure you don't have any missing pages. This next book, this is actually a reader copy from one of my friends in my comic group on Facebook. But it's a cool issue. I'm definitely going to read it, of course. I try to read all the books I get. The only ones I really don't read are the very, very expensive, high-graded books. Those I am usually more careful and try to find a online source or a backup source to try and read them. But yes, I do read. Uh, the majority of the books I get. This is Nova number 21. And I picked this up because it was a, a cheap price for what it was. I wouldn't say cheap, I, I guess it's an average price for what it was in its condition, so it's, uh, I didn't, uh, like cheat them or anything. I never like to cheat people out, especially if they're uh, part of our people that we socialize with daily. Of course, it's different when you're with dealers, of course, because they try to pinch out everything from you, so always negotiate with dealers. But with the friend, be honest with friends and don't rip them off if you know you're buying something valuable from them. And once again, it's a, it's a reader copy. I knew there's flaws with this. So, I wasn't expecting any anything good with the condition. I, I am going to enjoy reading this because I read the majority of the Novas from the first series. And uh, the main significance of this issue is Nova reveals his secret identity to his family. I think uh, his brother caught him or something from what I can remember reading the previous issue. I read the previous issue a few years ago. Mom, Dad, Bobby, I can't hide my secret any longer. Richard Ryder is Nova. So yeah, he reveals his identity and this issue to his family. So those were my quick comment hauls for the the weekend. If you're going to speculate on anything, I guess try and be on the lookout for Avengers number 158 for Dr. Franklin Hall as Graviton. That's the main significance or the main little lesson I want to share with you guys for this week. Who knows, it could be something really big, but I just bought it off speculation. I would don't expect anything big out of it. And once again, I thank you guys for being patient and watching another one of my so-called quick comic book unboxings. Uh, Thank you for all the views, and keep making the videos. Volkman86 out.